Yes, hello and welcome to a new uh, lab update. I just checked uh, my YouTube channel and it says the last video uploaded three weeks ago. Why? So, yes, there have been uh, things happening. I will show you some, some earlier videos later on. But first I want to start with uh, my new test procedure. So this is how the populated mainboards come here, in a little anti-static bag. And now what I have to do is test it. So let's move the camera. First of all, wrist strap. Don't want to damage the new boards. So here it is. And, well, it's not the world best test adapter, it's just uh, one of the older leaf adapter boards that I fitted with these pogo pins, which well, makes limited sense because this is actually holes, so the, <laughs> the pins actually slide into the holes and yeah, it's, oh well, it's sort of good enough, so it just sits on here. Sort of. Okay, let's turn on power. First test passed. Power LED works. Um, yeah, so next up is the uh, programming adapter, which slides onto here. Here we go. And also the serial cable. which is connected via this highly sophisticated pin header. See what happens on the screen capture. Okay, so what we have here is a test program and it just has various tests and the principle is that um, basically all signals finally will end up at the main processor. So um, what I've done here is I've built some sort of loopback circuitry, connected outputs to inputs, likewise here and here. And so yeah, I can like toggle one pin here and then it loops over the PCB and all the low pass filters and stuff back into some input. Well, actually then it's low pass filtered. And then I can actually measure whether my uh, my stimulation shows up on the input pin. And that way I have verified the signal path. And I'm also looking into the timing constants of the low pass filters, so I can verify that all the, the capacitors uh, are actually good and soldered okay. So let's do it. A simple flash uh, script that puts the uh, software on the board. And here we go. Um, so you see uh, basically two tests fail. Pin PA5, um, that loop somehow doesn't work. And also the window comparator test fails for some reason. Um, and that gives us a bit of a hint, uh, the window comparator, uh, we are generating about 0.9 volts with those resistors here to simulate some sort of a current stimulus. And apparently that isn't working. And the most common reason is the test adapter. So if we exercise some pressure, run it again. Uh, still failing. Oh, check it out. It loses power. Oh, that was. Okay, so now, now all tests pass and as a bit of a goodie, we receive a blinky LED. Yes. So, yeah, I think I will finally uh, release this 
test program on GitHub. It's fairly modular, like you define all your various pins and tables up here. And I think it can be easily modified for, for other boards. Yes, so I'm just telling you that to show that the boards are actually tested before they are sent out to you. And finally, let's take a look at what happened downstairs. So it's first uh, step done. My dad helped me uh, removing the engine from the Turan. And well, um, next up we tried fitting the original Volkswagen transmission to the leaf motor and that turns out not to be so easy because it has like a bulge sticking out. So you can just make a flat adapter plate and also, they need to be very close together because the shafts are um, quite short. And hmm, it's not so easy. Uh, but on uh, another occasion, I also got a brand new leaf drivetrain, including the transmission. So now, what I'm going to try to do is connect the like by leaf drive shafts and then connect them up somehow to the Volkswagen drive shafts and yeah I'll just keep you posted on that uh, either way it's not easy because then I, the motor mountings or the transmission mountings no longer fit uh, we'll see um, I've also done a trip to Amsterdam to a new electric uh, because they reserved two leaf battery packs for me so they are sitting down in the basement and they also gave me the leaf BMS, but that is a centralized BMS. So you have to, yeah, it has spaghetti wires. And since the change of the battery pack is going to change, uh, the shape of the battery pack is going to change dramatically in the Turan, I cannot use the original spaghetti wires. So I can either mess around with them and make them longer and shorter or whatever, or I can just roll my own BMS as I've done before. Yeah, so uh, lots of things to come, but that should be enough for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.